Hey guys, how guys doing? It is I'm back with another video and today we're gonna take a look at Global Vapor Story Roadmap for early February uh, till the mid of March. It's the quarter one, Q1 roadmap of 2024 over here. Alright, so we're gonna take a look at what's coming in uh, these two months over here. Alright, what are the future updates and also we're gonna take a look at uh, what did they say about the meso cube changes over there right because uh, kms is gonna implement the cubes it's not gonna be able to uh, purchase in the cash shop and then they're gonna change it all to mesos so and reboot changes as well right they're gonna be based with uh, regular world so we're gonna take a look at that in a bit they already addressed it so we're gonna take a look at that in a bit all right so let's begin over here timestamp to the video description we're gonna take a look at all this over here right so first things first there's something very uh interesting about this image over here that i actually saw uh um uh -uh. this this looks like a kobe's character over here my guy mm. i wonder i wonder why mm. Mm. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so early update, right? Early February, version 248 over here. As we announced in the uh, Maple Memo World Selection Reorganization and a New World. In the November patch, we renamed worlds to give each world a unique identity. Additionally, we have created new names for the different groups of worlds that are reflective of your playstyle and redesign the server selection screen to display the world groups in a way that is more intuitive to new players. Okay, so Scania, Bera, Aura, Arura, Elysium, and Luna are grouped together as interactive worlds. Uh, Kronos, Hyperion, and Solus are grouped together as heroic worlds. So these are basically uh, yeah, reboot, right? Special limited time events such as Burning World, Super Yeti, X Ping Bean are grouped together as seasonal worlds. So yes, this is the reorganization over here, right? They're gonna group it. Now, Burning World Leap. Yes, so those of you guys who are in the Burning World, you can World Leap to uh, all the regular worlds, right? Then, Spigilet Strawberry Farm, right? So this is a brand new event which you can basically farm your EXP in the Strawberry Farm over here, everybody. Finally, it is here after nine months. <laughs> For nine months, you guys are getting this insane Strawberry Farm event. Links in the video description to this video over here. You can have a look at the Strawberry Farm. I also uh, actually showcase what equips that actually you can uh, farm on and to get to one hit. Okay, so I actually showcase all of this over here. All right, so this is the brand new Strawberry Farm that will become in a very good grindy event uh, for your Muse. Okay, absolutely amazing over here. Go Richie safe, yes. So this is basically to guess a code and you'll be able to get a, well, if you're lucky, 22 star uh, scroll over there, right? So the golden Richie safe over there. More details you know, when they released it. Exciting new collaboration. Ooh, I wonder what it is. Is it some, uh, another T collaboration over there? You know, GMS got the T collaboration. Uh, Unless they're taking it from the overseas servers, right? Um, Japan Maple Story or Taiwan Maple Story collapse. I'm not sure. We'll see about that. Uh, Mina Picnic, everybody. Ah, so this is a another event. You got a coin shop. You got a meso shop. Uh, you got all the shops over here. You got this very nice mini game over here, right? It's uh. Let me, let me get into the game. Okay, it's a okay, avatar-based mini game over here. You can select your avatar. If you're really lucky, you'll be able to get upgraded to the dragon over there. The black dragon, everybody. It's very, very interesting. I have not released this video yet. So you guys gotta wait until I release this video. Now, this is a sneak peek of the mini game over here. And there is also uh, a lot of... A lot of goodies over here all right i already recorded this video there are some daily uh rewards over here a uh, coin shop all right as you can see all right and also a uh, punch king over here which you can get exp all right 
all of this over here are the coins and exp oh sorry this is the coins over here then uh as I show ah the, the mini game as well right so yeah this is the very nice black dragon over here everybody so I'm gonna sh I'm gonna release this video real soon I'm waiting for this event over here so do take note stay tuned everybody so the Mina picnic event will be coming uh this is in version 249 so it will be in mid of March okay now uh, Grand Athenium. Ah, okay. So this is interesting. So to, for those of you guys who will love the story, there'll be a book of Grandis over there, right? So yeah, book of Grandis will be here. Okay. Ooh, damn nice. So you can actually replay the story all the way to where you have unlocked it, right? So I haven't unlocked Cassion, so I can play it until uh, Atiria over there, right? So that is the uh, new book, and also there will be a new story. In the dimensional library as well. Episode 7, the Saphon's uh garden over here. Alright, so this is the backstory of Gerard Damo, Aaron. Okay, so very interesting. I've been waiting for this to be available in global or uh, in Southeast Asia because I wanted to play this in English. As you know, oh, this is the wrong one. <laughs> As you know, this one, I have not played it yet. So I, I, I don't want to spoil myself, right? I don't want to spoil myself. I'm waiting for this. So Grand Athenium, Dimension Library is coming over here. Two new things. Profession revamp. Okay, this is very important. So they will, you'll be able to learn all the professions over here, right? In regular world. Previously, Reboot World is the only world that you can learn all the professions. Now in... in in regular world, you can actually learn all the professions over there. So everything over here, you can actually learn it, all right? So, and then the rank does not drop anymore. So if you have a master rank over there, right? You can actually have it up over here, all right? It doesn't drop, yeah. So no more dropping over there, all right? And uh, I made a video about this as well. So basically, you can actually get this very nice crit uh, damage buff over here which lasts for 40 minutes right links in the video description on how to farm that buff how to get the meister over here so yeah good shit right free stuff why not everybody all right good stuff so yeah that's basically it for the profession revamp over here everybody so yeah no more decrease over here you can stay it Character UI revamp over here, right? Character UI has been improved so you can actually look at other players' character info and stats, right? They also added like combat power, normal most damage, cooldown, etc., right? All of that over here. So we're gonna have a look at this over here in the game, right? You can click on other players over here. You can look at everything, right? Their boss damage, their weapon attack, their meso, right? All stat, everything over there, even their the attack speed over here everybody right so this is everything you can look at this is the combat power this is unified combat power all right and then your equipments you can have a look at other players equipments over here their pets uh arcane authentic over here you can look at their skills as well what skills that they actually uh up over here they are v matrix over here and as well as their hexa the six job skills over here. and also you can take a look at their hyper stats over here and as well as the cash items Right? Even their inner ability as well. But for your own character, you can have more details over here. You can click on it. You can see that your detail uh, percentage over here. And um, critical rate, critical damage over here. Uh, cooldown skip, right? Everything you can actually look at this over here. Even with the cooldown hat, everything. Everything is being very detailed over here, everybody. Okay, so, uh, but do take note, the ability preset is not available yet. That will be coming in the near future. So as you can see, there's a preset here. No, it's not available yet. And also, there is a very nice thing where you can customize your background over here. You can have it as a plain background, right? You want to have a plain or you can have it as a Arcana over here. Or this is the newest one, Dreamer. Right, you guys will be getting it as well. So yeah, that's basically uh, the character... Uh, new character UI over here. Yes, everyone you can actually look at everyone's equip right now everybody the hyper preset everything right everything Okay, so you might be wondering what happened to the uh, damage skin damage skin actually put into the um, Equipment UI over here so we can have a look at your damage skin over here All right, and also for a mount actually is in your skill tab 
All、right, this is in your mount over here. It's in your skill tab over here. This is how all your mounts being located at. You get some time to get used to it, but yeah, it's how it works. Okay, so that's the character UI revamp over here. Monster life improvements. Yes, this is very important. Okay, because monster life will be removed and will be replaced with the brand new content, which will be the union artifact. All right, so this is your union UI over here, and there's a button over here. You click. This is your union artifact. I have a video dedicated to explain about the union artifact. What is it about? Okay, and、uh, please go to that video. Right. So what happened to monster life is that、uh, right now they make it much easier for you to level up. Monster life over here. Okay, you can store up to Waru with four percent increase on maximum storage. Right, use Waru with,、uh, to extend、uh, lifespans of some rank、uh, monsters over here. And of course, monster life related items will not be sold in the cash shop. Okay, there's、uh, auto harvest as well for everything. So all these quality of life changes over here. Get your monster life to level forty because once your monster life is level forty, you get a huge boost over here. When you、uh, unlock Union Artifact over here or Legion Artifact, because your Monster Life progression will be port over or transfer over to the Union Artifact. So basically, you'll be getting a boost level over here. All right. So、um, there will be Artifact missions over here to do. Basically, level up your union artifact, which resets every week over here. All right, so th this one is one time off only. The special mission is one time off. The boss and the basic one will be、uh, weekly. Okay, so this is how you level up your union artifact. I have a full video talking about union artifact on how to level up as well. Links over the description. Go to that video. Level up your monster life first. Then you can pre-level your legion or union artifact over here. All right, easily. Okay, so this is a brand new system over here, right?、Uh, very interesting system. It's very good. You can choose like critical rate, damage, and also metal. It's like、uh, trio. Your your fifth job trio over there. You can have two of the same stat. As you can see over here, I put damage, boss damage, and IED. As you can see, my damage, boss damage, and IED over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Damage, boss damage, IED is fifteen, fifteen, and twenty percent IED. Then we got critical damage crit rate, all right. On a good out skip over there, all right. As you can see, all right,、uh, a bit difficult. Yeah, there's seven point five percent over here on good out skip. So yeah, very very nice indeed. Okay, so that's basically for the union artifact. More info, video description below. A、uh, better maple improvements. Hexa magic prequest. Yes, so you can actually skip the tutorial for the、uh, hexa matrix. It's basically Explaining to you how to use your hexa matrix over here. It's not to skip your six job skills, yeah, and the six job. No, no, not that one. It's just teaching you how do you use it, how to level up and all that. Okay, you can actually look at it over here as well, right? So basically, you can skip it. Uh, so other UI, yes. Um, you can basically now pop this out over here. You can click on this one, pop this out. There is a so other UI which looks like this. This UI will actually stay forever. Okay, it will stay here forever. You can actually look at your amount of sodas that you have and the amount of soda fragments that you actually have. Right, even if you log out, you log back in, this UI will actually stay here. Okay, this is a very good change.、Uh, reporting feature: when reporting a player for illegal usage, there's a separate, there's a list of reportable players' name has been improved. Show up to three players who are located in the same map. Okay, all right. Now, the important one. Are you guys ready? The important one over here. We hope that you are excited by this high-level view content that events that arrive in GMS version 248 to 249. There will be solar boosters that will be on sale.、Uh, basically, easier to level up. Okay. Now, Beast Tamer. Are you guys ready? In our last roadmap memo, we announced that Beast Tamer Six Job would be not be included, and we are happy to provide an update now. Everybody, Beast Tamer is getting an overhaul and becoming a new class, uh, or Forest Child Lin. As the successor to Beast Tamer, Lin will be able to fight battles alongside her powerful guardians and support her party members with variety of abilities that utilize the power of the forest. So please look forward to them in action. We will see you in May. Oh shit, that's long. God damn, damn. Okay, now this is Lin, everybody. All right, so as you can see, I want to pause the video here. This is Lin. 
right? Yeah, very very nice. A new job. So basically, a job transfer from Beast Tamer to Lin over here, everybody. Uh, links in the video description for this video as well. They, they showcase a little bit of their skill preview over here. And uh, as you can see, uh, there you go. Yeah, there we go. Mr. Bear, alright. Alright. And this is the bird. And that's a wolf over here. Yes. Ah, so that's the the healing one. As you can see, the HP is healing up. So there will be three uh, guardians over there. All right. So that is Lin. Everybody, the new job that will be coming in Global Maple Story. All right. Of course, it will be released in. Uh, TMS and CMS first, everybody. Okay, so yeah, welcome uh, the new job, Lin, everybody. All right, so we'll be showcasing more about this uh, new job in, in the near future. Okay, so what's next? Ah, uh, reboot, reboot, everybody. Okay, as you already know, Maple Story is operated as a separate service in different regions. We understand that you are always wondering if the contents of other services will affect Global Maple Story. GMS. Similar to other regions, GMS is a unique and independent service with a distinct player base. During our planning pro process for the game and each update, we consider the existing unique specifications of uh, GMS and uh, the play patterns and the preferences of our players. Over the past few months, we have been looking to create a better distinction between world uh, types by providing the world Kronos and Solus unique names, opening a new Hyperion world and introduce a new world group names as mentioned above. These efforts are part of our localization plan to highlight Global Maple Story as a unique service. Reduce misunderstandings with the previous um, terminology along with providing more intuitive guidance for all new players. As for our future plans for GMS, along with the separate memo and notice we, will pro we have provided in the past, we started posting this roadmap as part of our efforts to inform you any large changes coming to GMS as early as we can. We are committed to continuing to do so and informing you of major changes to GMS through this notice. As mentioned above, we will make decisions that are best for GMS. And if we decide to make any major changes, you can expect to learn more details about it from us in advance. Please take note that outside of what we have already mentioned above, we have no other plans to share. As always, our goal with this roadmap is to provide information that players may be curious about and assist players with advanced preparation. Please keep in mind that there is more content on the way in addition to those listed above. So we advise players to refer to the update preview posts and patch notes for the finalized details for the game update. Okay, so is GMS going to get the cube, right? Change to Mesos and as well as the reboot world uh, Meso change as well. I'm gonna be sync with uh, regular world. I don't know. <laughs> From reading about this, they mentioned that the the GMS service, right, is a very unique and independent service, right, with a distinct uh, player base, right, and it's very unique. And um, they did not, they did not really, really mention that it won't be coming, or they did not really mention that they will be coming. It's it's very vague. So TLDR, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. 
Because right now, even in KMS, we actually haven't had the update yet, right? Everything over here is still planned, right? They mentioned that they're gonna have a, an update after next week. And after next week, patch will be January uh, 18. After next week, January 18, they're gonna release more information about the cube changes uh, and they'll be in the test server first. So it is still very early stage, okay? And of course, at this early stage, um, overseas servers cannot get any details because KMS have not even implemented it yet, right? They would, uh, KMS is going to implement in Tesla first and only on official but they are going to finalize everything in February so maybe after February when KMS have a solid uh, detail and update then we will know more details but at this point of time by reading this over here basically doesn't tell anything <laughs> alright it, it's just like we talk about this better over here and then BAM! We come back into the new update. Hell yeah! Anyway, so we will get more details in the, the future uh, notices, I guess, right? So, yeah. No answer yet, everybody. No answer yet. Alright, so that's basically it for this uh, video over here. I right? hope you guys get some insights on the Global Maple Story Roadmap for the uh, February until March update over here. Alright, so as always, thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. Alright, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay awesome, everybody. Stay safe. Bye bye.